Hey, and the accident was not your fault. It happened a long time ago. You need to wake up. Anyways, welcome to the Windows Are Gone. I just, I, I had to go on a limb for that kind of intro. That's what I mean. That's what I think the game's about. I might be completely wrong, and I just get so that up. In my dreams, I see this house. Is this my dream house? Oh boy, I can't wait to live in a, a nice, a house in the woods. And you know that that's not wrong. It is in the woods. That's kind of funny. That is a. Uh, Oh, it's like asymmetrical very slightly. It's it's a little bit off-putting. I feel like calling for me. Does it? Man, it's the uh, it's the monster house. Oh no! It can it has it eat me. Yep. The car tires. Is this the accident in question? It's a truck. Am I? Did I get hit by a truck? Did I get hit by a truck? I just said the same thing. It, yeah, there we go. Ever since the accident. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Ever since the accident. I've been thinking about my dream house, yeah? Is it, uh... It's, it's an interesting house for sure, it's like... I don't know, it looks a little uh, tacky, I'd say, personally. I wouldn't live there, personally. But, you know, it's, it's probably a nice place. Whatever I do, I can't stop thinking about this house in Mariana. No way, we live in the Mariana Trench! No way. Well, we'll, we'll live in there. Oh, is this a moving truck or something? Or is this the truck that hits me? Or is it both? Is it going to transition into it? That'd be kind of cool. So I answered it. I answered the call? Okay, that's the moving truck. That's all my belongings. In one truck, right? We're driving into the forest. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, look at this sick PlayStation cutscene that has, like, a weirdly, really good amount of, like, lighting. I don't know. The windows are gone. That is a sick intro, man. This game is high budget for sure. I, I like this one. Slash F to continue? Oh, very nice. Hi, honey, are you hold- uh, how are you holding up? You know, taking it one day at a time. Oh, did I not lose my wife in the accident? Oh, wait. Am I- Who died in the accident? Was it- No one died? I just got, like, wheelchair or something? I don't know. I didn't go. Couldn't do it. I could not go to the funeral. Who was in the funeral? I understand. She would've understood, too. You know that, right? Right. And what about your new house? It's in Mariana, right? Quite a long way from here. Oh, is that not my wife? Is it, no, it, no, wait. Is this someone else? Is this like, oh, uh, it might be like a parent or something. Yeah, it might be. Yeah, this could be my mother or something, yeah. I'm, I, I think I did lose my wife in an accident. I think that's the idea. Yeah, I'm on my way there right now, actually. I'll text you once I get there. All right, be careful on the road. Love you. Yeah, I love you too, goodbye. Gonna get in another car accident. <laughs> uh, we're doing the sequel, apparently. Oh. Oh, that's insane mouse sensitivity. Hold on. All right, I think this. I think this one's good. All right, press time to pick up your phone. Oh yeah, I need to text her. Oh yeah, from mom to you. All right, be careful on the road. Love you. Nice uh, little Nokia. I don't think it is. Uh, reply. I can browse. Hey, I just arrived at the house. I'll move the box inside and we'll text you later. Yep. Uh, cue to go back. No, that. Okay, that's just the other stuff. Okay, cool. Oops, wrong button. Pick up the map of the house. Man, I have a. Oh, I have a floor plan here. That's, that's kind of cool. Okay, so... Interesting. Wow, okay, so it's a relatively big house, but just the rooms are massive, that's the idea. Uh, is there a second floor up here? Oh, yeah. Interesting layout. Okay, so... Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's a nice house, yeah. I got the idea of it. Not very well, I mean... I know it, but... This box has upstairs, guest room, bedroom, guest best room. Asbestos. Yep. All right, let's play stuff in. All right. We don't even need to open the door. We can just. Okay, this is kind of cool. It has like moving physics. This this one's really well made. I do. I really like how this one is playing so far. All right, guest bedroom upstairs. Oh, it comes with a couple furniture. Oh, that's a nice, interesting, living room. I mean, it's not extremely spacious, but it sure is cozy. Okay, where's this go? Upstairs guest bedroom. Upstairs guest bedroom. Let's look at the map. The guest bedroom upstairs is, let's see, on the left, oops, in the hallway, it's in the hallway. All right, first room in the hallway. Left hallway, right there. All right, I am an expert map reader, according to me. On my resume, that'll be my source, because I said so. I think, I, I don't know, I think, you know, they always say help yourself, so, you know. All right, that's all done. Oh, yeah, we're sprinting. Oh, yeah. We can't jump, but if... I, I promise you, viewer, if I could jump, I would be bee hopping. I need to see where this goes. Upstairs master bedroom. Okay, this is mine. This is my box of bed. 
this is this is where I keep my bed and my setup and my clothes and my vase, my Moroccan hanging light, my ceiling fan, my microphone. Every yeah, you know, it's all in here. This is the box. Okay, so real quick because I am already forgotten. Oh, no, that's it. Whoops. I keep, <laughs> I keep pressing escape to get out of menu. Okay. And here, interesting bathroom there. All oh, those tiles are. Not it, but, you know, it's not that important. I'm just gonna put that there. And we go down. So, I don't know, it's a big house, but it's also, like, kind of, I don't know, it feels small. For some reason. What's this one? Living room. Oh, sick, easy. The living room is... Is it? It's not right there, is it? What am I... What am I hearing? Am I hearing music? Piano? I don't know. I think that's in-game. Okay, this is the living room. Uh, let's go upstairs. Yes. Oh, the whole the whole area is the living room. Okay. Yeah, I knew that. So we got a couple more boxes. Oh, no, I, I keep forgetting to check. It's like I'm I think I'm psychic or something. Downstairs office. Okay. Office. Oh yeah, my setup. Are these my my tax forms and stuff? We have a fence, just so that it can't get in. I'm safe. Well, the illusion of safety. Okay, let's open the door. Honestly, just open all the doors just for like the convenience of it real quick. I don't like that kitchen, but more on that later. All right, office stuff. This is very relaxing. That, that's not the office, that's a basement. This, this must be, yeah, it's a hallway, okay. For some reason I was thinking it's like a back door. Oh, this is, a, it's a pleasant house. Me personally, I, I don't know, cause I'm like, I feel slightly claustrophobic, but at the same time, I like hallways that are just kind of, Narrow, you know? I, I don't know what it is. That is an interestingly almost sad office. I think it's the wallpaper and lack of like furniture decorations and paintings, but that's just that. I can't open that? This room is locked for some reason. I wonder if the key is somewhere around the house. Okay, I'll have to worry about that in a second. I'll have to worry about that one in a second too. Can I open these things? Okay, well, this is a full last game. I mean, it did say 40 to 1 hour, so, you know. Upstairs guest bedroom, easy. I've been there before. Been there, done that. I just, I don't know, it's, I know it's a horror game and all that, but it's just, I don't know, it's, it's very happy. It seems, it seems happy, you know. I'm moving into a new house, it's just a relaxing moving in simulator for now. But, yeah, it's, I don't know. It's nice. It's very enjoyable, I think. It's, it's just an all around, just, it's a nice place, you know. This is... These bathrooms are not it. There's no skibidi toilet. I don't like that flusher button. <laughs> that is weird. Whatever. <laughs> just, just leave an upper decker. <laughs> uh, okay. In the van, van again. All right. Upstairs, master bedroom. Okay, my bedroom again. So I think there's a common theme. I guess we have a lot of boxes for. It, it does make sense. Although I don't know why we'd have like two different boxes for the guest bedroom because there's. Not even a permanent resident there, but, you know, whatever. We're going to my nice bedroom. It is a nice house. It's a little, it's very, uh, what is this, maybe 60s to 80s feeling in it? I don't know, I wasn't born then, but that, if I had to guess, I, I think that's roughly the style, I think. Maybe the 70s, I don't know. It's just, it says that to me. I think it might take place in the early 90s. I think is the idea, or uh, 2000s or something, I don't know, it doesn't matter. Upstairs storage, just real quick, where is that? Uh, upstairs storage, where is that? Oh, okay, okay, it's just right up the stairs, very nice. These these controls and stuff are very, very nice. Is it getting darker? I can't tell. Is the day, is it day, is it? Is it? I don't know if it's turning nighttime, I can't tell. Maybe, I'll have to pay attention to the shadows. In a not horror way of like marking monsters, but in a nice fun way of marking the passing day. We we love moving boxes in this house. All right, open the door. It's kind of weird to have a storage room upstairs. You'd think it'd be in like the basement or something, but you know, I guess that's just how it is. Placing that on the appropriate shelf. Looking around, maybe there's a key in here. You know, just getting it out of the way. No, nothing. Okay. No, not th no big deal. I'll just I'll check why not. Nothing. Okay. I I'm sure that if I get a box labeled basement, there's gonna be like a jump scare down there waiting for me. 
Upstairs, main hallway. Oh, easy. Easy. I hear rustling, but it's probably just ambient sounds. Ambient? Ambient? Ambient. I think it's ambient. I think it's ambiance and then ambient. Or maybe I'm just reading too much into it. Uh, main hallway upstairs. I'll just put it right at the stairs. I'll put it on this table. I think that's a fitting place. I'm sure it goes on like shelves and stuff. All right. I'm just. I'm waiting for. Ah! Oh, why? Why would you? Are you my mother? Oh, you're the neighbor. Oh, ah! Oh, why did I get open door neighbor jump scare? Yes, I am. Uh, or I suppose I am. Do you live nearby? Do you? I do, yes, a couple of kilometers that way. She points to her right-hand side. My husband and I, she bothers for you a second. I live there. Oh, your husband's dead? That's okay, my wife is apparently dead. Welcome, welcome. Mariana is a wonderful town. Lovely people. Yes, uh... Can you tell me about it? Well, Mariana is a quiet little town, but it's full of beauty. Oh, yes. Make sure you visit the Aracarius Park when you have a chance. Beautiful trees there. I think that's how you would pronounce that. I don't know, that's that's a different word. It's unfamiliar. Also, people here are known for their friendliness. That being said, I hope you understand that we take pride in our traditions. Please don't embarrass us with your differences, she smiles. What does that mean? What differences? What does that mean? What are you going on about? Are, is this a threat? Please don't embarrass us? What do you mean? What you, I just moved here. That's so unfriendly. Do I know you? You look familiar. Oh, I'm not sure. Baby. That's what they say. Small world and all. In any case, we know each other now, don't we? We know each other now, yes. Uh, how about this one? Can you help me with anything that's for continuing? Well, I couldn't help but notice that the house had been purchased and that new owner should be here today. So, I baked you something special as a welcome gift. Poisoned baked goods! Probably. Is it laced with, like, acid or something? Uh, that's very kind of you. You didn't have to. I think you're gonna love it. I left it on your kitchen. You've been in my house? Why would you ring the doorbell if you've been in my house? This is a little creepy, isn't it? Uh, you got inside the house? Oh, don't worry, my dear. I know this house inside and out. You know this house? Is this like some... Oh no, it has history. Is it haunted? Every corner and shadow seems familiar to you, doesn't it? In any case, you'll get familiar with it soon enough. Uh, that's ominous. Thanks, neighbor. Now, do me a favor, my dear, and try some of that pastry I made for you, will you? I'm sure you'll love it. Okay, uh, just please stay here this time, all right? She nods and smiles. Yes, neighbor, I'm going to go eat that pastry that you might have laced. <laughs> Thank you. I forget where my kitchen is. That It's in the hallway. So is this house historically haunted? Has something horrific happened here? Oh, cool. Pastry. Yeah. Inspect. A plate of gristoli made by the neighbor. I'm not sure if I should eat this, but the smell is irresistible. Yeah, I, I have at least a little bit of common sense. We're just going to eat all of it. The woman was very odd, but her gastroli were delicious. Yes. Is she going to be, like, in the house? Is she gone? She's gone. Oh she, oh, she left a note. The note says, welcome home. I assume it came from that lady, but where did she go? Certainly not my basement. I just left the door open. Uh, I, I should have invited her in for tea. As I unloaded the boxes into my new home, I couldn't help but be reminded of the toll the trip to Mariana had taken on me. That, combined with this odd encounter with the neighbor, made me realize that I was exhausted. She, she roofied the pastries, no! I decided it'd be wise to take a quick nap in the master bedroom. Besides, I was curious to sense the comfort of my new bed. Can I? I cannot, okay. You know, that's fine. It's not like there's someone hiding in my house. I should just lock the basement door, though. I'll leave it open. I'm ballsy like that. She's just gonna be in my bedroom. She's just waiting, you know. No? Okay. We're closing that. Let me just board up the door. No, I can't put the boxes there. I don't even have a mattress or a pillows or anything. I, I have a mattress. I'm not sure I'll get used to this bed, but it'll have to do for now. Yep. Well. I hear that, uh, this is uh, kind of related, unrelated, but I hear that people, like, when they're sleeping in a new place for the first time, their body doesn't, like, fully go into full rest just because, like, natural defense mechanism, I guess. Something like that. I don't know, it seemed pretty interesting. I don't like how you just close your eyes. I don't want to, if someone is like going to peep in and like jump scare me, I want to have my eyes closed for it, right? There you go. Falling asleep mechanisms. Very nice. This time, I didn't dream about this house. Have I been having dreams about a place and then I had to buy it and then it's like haunted? That's a red flag. What kind of horror protagonist? I'm a normal horror protagonist, never mind. Probably because I was finally here. True. 
true. No more anticipation. Were they nightmares though about this house, or was it like happy dreams? Like this house is paradise. Ta-da! You know. No, this time I had a different dream. Was it a nightmare about someone in my basement? Because I think that's reality. I don't not. I don't think that'd be a nightmare, to be honest. No, this time I had a different dream. Tell me. Oh, oh, it's the car accident. What are we? We're drifting. Hi. Um, look at wife. My wife and I were in a hurry to the hospital. She was clearly in a lot of pain. What is that? Uh oh. Was she pregnant? I don't think so. Maybe. I found myself in my car, quickly driving my wife to the hospital, since her water had just broken. She was pregnant. Pregnanante. Honey, are you gonna be okay? Yes, just avoid any bumpy roads, please. She goes off a nervous laugh. It might just slip out. Yeah, you know. Have you called your mother? Uh, no, I forgot. Can you call her once we get there, please? Yes, of course. Thank you. And please remember, the highway is blocked. Now please hurry. I better look at the road, right? Did we? Oh, I, I understand. We got into a car crash and we lost both the wife and the child, I guess. Those are just overhead lights. Oh, shit! Oh, what is that? My! Oh my god, what is going on? Jessica! Oh no. Oh no, what happened? Hey, are we in? Are we driving through, like, blood? What's going on? Uh, what? What did happen? This doesn't look like a. Was it an accident? Like, she. A, a stray bullet just happened. It's, it's, it is a nightmare. It's like. It's. It's, um. Mental. It's like. Psychological. So, of course, we're not gonna see the car crash. We have to. We have to know that she's dead. It's not like we definitely already knew that. Yeah, I mean, just. You know, PTSD. It's. You know, makes sense. Wow. What a refreshing nap. It's daytime. Still. Still? Or maybe it's. The morning now. I don't know. God, what a horrible nightmare. Yeah? That sucks. That dripping noise. I heard it while I was asleep. Where is it coming from? Some some kind of bathroom, right? It's not that one. Is it? Is it? I don't think so. No. No, it's not. It's not. Okay, I hope it's not blood dripping. I hope it's just like water. It sounds upstairs to me. Oh no. Probably in this. Oh no, this room was locked before. No, it wasn't. This is the bathroom. Is it this room? No. This is eerie. I don't like this. This is. Ooh, it's spooky. Uh, I don't think it's there. The kitchen? It's not the kitchen. Yeah, he, she was very odd. We have a lot of faucets. Outside? Outside. I don't want to be out there. Too much forest. Not enough furniture. I'm scared. I hope it's not the basement. I don't want to go in the basement. This room? This room is locked for some reason. Yeah, we already knew that. I think it's in the basement. Uh, I don't like that I'm going to have to go into the basement. Alright, we go in the basement. Tab. Let's look at our phone. Uh, she didn't She didn't reply anything. Oh, no, she did. Yeah. Thanks for letting me know. Careful not to hurt your back with the boxes. Can I reply? No? Okay. Oh, no, we have a leak. Inspect. Oh, great, there's a leak in the ceiling. I guess that's what I get for buying an old house. Hmm, I got a weird feeling about this, though. Can't quite explain it. Maybe it's the constant noise. Maybe it's the water itself. I don't know. I just can't shake this on feeling I have when I think about it. But I'll have to see it tomorrow. I just can't be bothered right now. Gotta go back to bed. It was a nap. What do you mean? I, sh I should take this. Inspect. A VHS label tape too. the accident. What does that mean? What do you mean, the accident? Did someone tape my accident, my car accident with my wife? I couldn't take this to a VHS player and play it. Okay, well, I'll just, that's, that's you know, it's nothing to worry about. I don't know where the drip's coming from. It's coming from, oh no, it's coming from that room. I don't like that. Okay, uh, let's see. Oh, I'm all back to bed. We're, we're going back. Master bedroom. Sorry guys, I'm recording something real quick. Time to lie down. Alright, we're just gonna slowly get into bed. Honestly, I don't even know why I'm on this side of the bed, because real life, I, I have a bed that's like, that's like two people wide, right? And I, I sleep kind of like near the middle right side, basically. So I don't really know why I'm on that. This is not lore accurate me, personally, but you know, that's just how it is. Okay, so definitely the basement's gonna be flooded or something. No nightmares, only only silence, only blankness, only instant transition. Very interesting. 
I hope no one uh, came along and stole my remaining packages. My, uh, my, um, prepackaged weapons. A text message. What's this? Thanks for letting me know. Uh, I could probably hear you're back. Good morning, son. Your mom told me that you arrived in Mariana yesterday. How's it going? Hey, Dad. Well, you know. Yeah, there's like... Uh... Drip basement. Oh, it's it's a dip, deeper puzzle. Uh, let's see. I know. I'm sorry. How's the new house? Is it all what you were hoping for? That's okay. I was bringing the boxes inside yesterday and got tired. I'll get back to that right now. Yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. I'm a responsible person. I need to find that room key because there's like probably some kind of dead body dripping in there. That no, it rubs me the wrong way. Welcome home, it said. I don't like that. Am I the reincarnated spirit or something? Downstairs bathroom. I don't know, this is eerie. It's like morning now. You know, happy morning. Glorious morning. Scary things happen at nighttime, and it is morning, so I am basically immune. Do I have a shadow? No, I don't. Well, that's tough. I don't exist. I'm fake. I'm not real. Alright, we're just gonna put that there. One last box. One more. We're not gonna get jump scared by the neighbor again who lives like a mile away because we live out in the country, I guess. Kitchen. Easy. Easy. These are all my knives that I will not use to kill people and will not be used to kill me. I promise. I cannot promise that it won't be used to kill me, but I promise that I don't plan to stab anyone. So, there you go. On the kitchen table. That'd be nice. Another tape. How many tapes are in here? Not on the table. What is this? What's this say? Tape three. Rumble. I'm pretty sure this wasn't here yesterday. Was it not? Oh, I don't know. Maybe. What's in the fridge? We can't check. Sick microwave. Oh, it's got its own nice shelf. That's pretty cool. Open the cabinets. We're just gonna check to see if there's anything fun. I'm stuck! Interesting, uh... House layout. I guess it's just, you know. Uh, okay. He didn't reply? He did not. Okay, well. Ah, no biggie. What is this one called again? What is this? This tape labeled my family. I could probably take this to a VHS player and play it. Yes! Let's, uh... Hold on. I should... Uh, can I put this back real quick? Yeah, let me go make sure that I don't have anything business left with the van. Is this... Do I own this truck, or was the driver just kind of waiting here the whole time? Well, okay. Well, I guess I just own it. Or maybe... I was just probably renting it, you know. Just close the door. Watch a nice, happy movie. You know? Grab that. Alright, time to watch this. It's probably psychological horror. As the tape started playing, I see a middle-aged man handling the camera. I quickly realize that the man is in this same house that I'm on. I'm on. I'm in. He's all smiles as he moves away from the camera and joins his family as they can be seen playing around in the backyard. I wonder if they're the previous owners of the house. Something tragic and horrible is going to happen. His wife and children seem to be having a great time, laughing and running around. There's a movement where the wife comes up behind the husband and pats her arms around him. Puts her- I can't read. They both smile and briefly look at the camera. It's nice, really. I can't help but feel like there's something off, though. It's like there's an underlying tension, a sense of unease that's hard to describe. Maybe it's just me, but I get this feeling that things aren't as perfect as they seem on the surface. It's, it feels like they aren't as perfect as they seem to be on the surface. Yeah, okay, I, I just wrote that again. It feels like the happiness portrayed here is a deceptive lure, tempting me to bite it and overwhelm me with its actual intentions. It's written on the mom's face. It's written on the man's face. It's like he's trying to hide something behind his smile. The tape ends when one of the kids trips and falls to the ground. While the mother tends to the crying boy, the father's disingenuous, dis and, um, disingenuous smile finally fades away as he approaches the camera to turn it off. Once he's written for the frame, though, I get an eerie feeling of intrusiveness, as if he's caught me prying on his personal life. The tape ends. It's a strange feeling, watching these recordings of someone else's life. I can't help but wonder what happened to them. Where they are now? Did they move away for a long time ago? Are they still together? It's like I'm peeking into a world that's not mine. A world that's both familiar and forgotten at the same time. Foreign. I cannot read today. Alright. There was a second tape. I already forgot where it was, but there's a second tape. I think it's upstairs. Uh, no, it's downstairs. It's the accident. I don't want to go down there. It's, uh, okay, he replied back. Oh, no, no, mom replied back. Okay. Everything good? Yeah. Yeah, all good. Found this weird VHS tape. I think it's from the old owners of the house. I should find the second one. You know, I have to know. Did you watch it? What's in it? Uh, I was expecting to. I was expecting you to lecture me. I was expecting you to lecture me not to do that. But yes, I did. Saw some weird stuff. Weird stuff. 
Yeah, yeah, I saw this VHS left by the old owners. They were doing- they were into some freak stuff. Oh. Um. Emoticon face. I cannot reply. Yeah, I mean, that's- that's a proper reaction to, like, that kind of message. Let's watch the second one. The accident. We're gonna watch something horrific and tragic. So, it's- there's both my own past as a plot point, and there's also the past of this house as a plot point. All right, we're gonna watch something horrible. The tape shows that man, who I assume was the previous owner of this house, working in the basement, with the camera sitting on a counter and pointing at him. He seems to be alone in the house, although I can just hear, just about hear his children playing in the backyard. The tape is slightly damaged, but I can make out the most of what's happening. I can make out most, I can't read, damn. For a few seconds, he just stays there in silence, as if anxiously rehearsing his first words to the camera. When he finally starts speaking, I'm suddenly caught by a sense of uneasiness, and I shiver slightly. The man also seems uneasy and disturbed. His words, measured and hesitant, give off a sense that he's trying to describe a feeling that he cannot fully comprehend, but that has taken over him. Uh oh. I just heard a creaking, I don't like that. He speaks of a sense of impending disaster, of a terrible event that is he th that he thinks is about to occur to his family. He is less and less coherent until he's taken by his own emotions and accidentally drops a tool he was using on the ground. He starts crying, carefully covering his mouth so that no one will notice him. He mentions a terrible event will be his fault. As he so said that he's accidentally gonna kill his family, watching him, I couldn't help but feel that his words are distracted. I couldn't- I can't help but feel that his words are directed at me somehow. It's as if he knows that I'm here watching this, and is trying to communicate with me. The way he talks about the events is as if they had already happened. But then why is he doing this? Why isn't he doing anything to prevent it from happening? And what's the point of these tapes? I think he's describing my accident, isn't he? That's- that's creepy. I don't know. Another one! We're doing the three cool. This one's called a rumble. It must be like a storm or something. Or maybe the rumbling of a car crash. Maybe the- maybe that's the parallel. Maybe this game is like an elaborate- like actually just elaborate English homework assignment. As the tape starts playing, the scene before me is disorienting and extremely unsettling. The man from the previous tape stands in a place impossible to identify. He appears to hover in darkness, surrounded by countless long red streaks that stretch as far as the eye can see. Like veins that mysteriously emerge from above and, just as inexplicably, disappear beneath him. Oddly enough, I can feel them pulsating beyond the TV screen and onto my chest, suffocating me with the same feelings as the man appears to be experiencing. In that crushing darkness, I inexplicably feel the man's despair, guilt, and regret. Yet I cannot bring myself to stop the tape, and I keep watching it. The camera shakes and glitches, and at times seems to be part of the man's body somehow. His demeanor terrifies me. His words are fragmented, barely forming coherent sentences. In the brief moments that I see his face, there's a deep ache in his eyes, as if he carries an overwhelming burden on his shoulders. He stammers feelings of regret and calls for his family, but he's all alone in that place. I feel like his family is no longer reachable, and he blames himself for it. It's a haunting sight, and I can feel his pain seeping through the screen, echoing within my own being as if we somehow shared consciousnesses. In the midst of his own turmoil, he mouths open wide. His mouth opens wide ready to unleash his agonies, but before he can do so, the tape abruptly ends. I feel broken by the insist- in I feel broken by the intensity of what I've just witnessed, and almost feel ashamed to look at my own reflection on the screen, and yet, I still feel like this was needed somehow. That is uncomfortable. I don't- I, I don't even know what kind of eldritch stuff that I was watching. I- I- oh, no, that's uh... That's uh, that's a hell of a thing. I- you know, maybe some things are better than left alone, you know. Let's go check cabinets around the house for, like, maybe a key or something. Master bathroom upstairs. This is not my master bedroom box. Does that- does that do anything? You know, maybe guest bedroom was actually guest bathroom. Maybe I'm just- you know, I might have, like, mild dyslexia or something. Sometimes I just- I can't read right. That says bathroom. Am I- I must be just dumb or something. There we go. Oh, progression! As I was bringing in the boxes, I couldn't help but repeatedly ask myself what I was actually doing here. I acted on impulse when I bought this house. But the vivid and recurrent dreams I had after the accident plagued my mind and kept haunting me until I finally gave in. It's like I didn't have a choice. 
Maybe it's the desperation to start fresh, or the need to escape the memories of that dreadful night. But here I was, in this unfamiliar place, with no one but myself. For a moment, I questioned my sanity, so I took a deep breath, letting the nasty, musty smell of the old house fill my lungs. And with a sense of determination, I whispered to myself, I'm here now, and I have to make the most of it. Still, I felt like I needed to turn this place into my new home. So I set out to unpack all the boxes and to decorate the place. Oh boy, we get to open the boxes now? Fun stuff? Oh, nice, interesting meth menu thing. Okay, so I guess just take it all out. Oh, okay, one by one. What? Did, uh, uh, I don't know, like right, uh, corner? Right there? Is it like a little. It's not a wastebasket, I don't think. Okay, bath mat. We know where this goes. We just gotta rotate it a little bit. Ta da! Right there. There? Right there. Let me open. Let me just move this box, actually, like into the entrance there. Move that. Put that there. Where? What do we need to unbox now? Toothbrush holder? Oh, yeah. Okay. We're going to put this on here. Easy. Easy. This is fun. It's like a it's like a fun little... I love the little details, like decorating a house. Even if I'm not really good at it, it's, it's very fun. We're going to put the trash can over here. It's like the emergency toilet, basically. Right by the sink in that corner. Perfect. Uh, perfume. Oh, yeah. I want to smell good. We're putting that in the... No, we're putting it on the... Okay, well, we'll put it there. Easy. Very good. It's all done. Very nice. Bedroom. Oh, I do love decorating this kind of stuff. Bedding. Okay, we gotta put it on the bed, naturally. Pillow. This definitely goes on the bed, too. I finally get one of those in my room. Hallway. Fun decorations. Oh, yeah, nice, nice. Okay, we put a sculpture on this table. Should we rotate it? Oh, yeah. Okay. Man, I'm going to have so many cool parties here. We put a picture on the bureau over here. Nice. Put it back in there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're, we're, we need to move this over. We need to We need to furniture, Max. Not now, Mom. I'm unpacking. What's up? Uh, Brother-in-law, you. Hey, man. How are you doing? Hey, a bit overwhelmed, honestly. Yeah, I, I'm. I got your. Uh, I don't know if I. I don't know if the accident was my fault. Your sister's dead. I think it might be my fault. You know. Whoopsie Daisy. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's awful. Uh, painting. Oh, abstract art. Interesting. All right, move this one more center. Let's see. Uh, yeah, same here. She was an incredible person, my sister. That I read that wrong. Uh, my sister loved you, man. I know, and she hated your gut. Haha. <laughs> yeah, sibling stuff. Encyclopedias, we... Ooh. Oh, th those don't... How, where am I supposed to put my uh, paintings? Where can I... I? I think they're supposed to go there. Do I put the... Or am I supposed to put those paintings in the... In the things, of course. And we'll put the painting there. On the shelf, of course. Because paintings belong on shelves. This book goes in... Uh... I think I'm doing this wrong. Do, do these just belong inside here? No, they wouldn't, right? I'll put that on the floor for now. Uh, encyclopedias on the wall. We gotta hug it up to the corner there. Very nice. Book. It goes photo album. Goes right there. Painting. Goes there. We swap out the painting seasonally. Uh, we'll have it be that way. We cannot store it in there. Can we store it here? No. Um, here, maybe? Right? You know, I... Ooh. Oh, Jessica made the sculpture in one of her art classes. She never really liked it. She said it was too dark and dull. I always liked it and would make sure she knew it. Especially because I could never make something remotely close to it. I, I like to art, you know. I can't, okay, I don't get flavor text for that one, though. Is there Are there proper, like, places to put these? I don't know. You know, I'll just... I'll, I'll just put this, like... You know, uh... uh ooh, where do I put this? Photo album. In here? In there. In there. Painting. Okay, so we are going to move this one back into its respective shelf. And then we move it here. Perfect. Perfect. Not really, but, you know. Okay, I guess. I don't know. I guess it was just like the... Oh, inspect. Ooh, okay. Mm, bedroom. Master bedroom. Uh, folded clothes. All right. We're just gonna we'll put those right there, right there. 
folded clothes again. Right there again, because I, you know, naturally. Bedding sheet, those are tacky, but, you know, there's style to it. We get two pillows, because we're just bougie like that, even though I'm using this bed alone, because, you know, I'm, my, my wife is deceased. He didn't respond. Oh, ha, ha, ha. oh, yeah, I know, but seriously, it wasn't your fault, man. Remember that. Right. 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 That's sad. She's dead, and it's... And it's possibly my fault, I don't actually know. Painting. Oh, yeah, yeah, painting above the bed. Someone's at my door. Is it the cre- Oh, creepy ambient sounds. Is it the weird neighbor again? Hello? Who's that? Uh... Floating orb. The floating orb has arrived, apparently. Okay. That's- that's just normal. Uh, all the things on. Take care. Thank, thanks, brother-in-law. Listen to static. I don't know about that. The TV turned itself on, and I can just about make out a sound of it, the static. Come closer. Is that someone crying? Is it me? Let's go closer. No. Nope. Did someone open the bedroom here? Did someone uh, open the hallway bedroom that had the dripping sound? Someone did. Oh, it's a box. Where'd this come from? I don't like this. I'm certain I didn't bring this box with me. I have no idea how it got here. What's in here? Baby clothes. Uh-oh. A bunch of paintings. Oh? Maternity photo album. Yes. Uh, baby clothes. Of course. We're just gonna unbox this. Maternity photo album. Painting. This is creepy. I don't like this. Uh, a photo of my deceased wife. Is that what that is? Painting there. Ta-da! And, and the last one. Just right above the door. Of course. For each wall. Inspect. A baby photo album I brought and was going to give Jessica. The pages inside are starting to rot. I thought I had gotten rid of this. Oh, that's sad. A gift we got from Jessica's friends a few months ago. The box is moldy and there's a terrible scent coming from it. This was Jessica's first painting as an art student. She could explain its meaning to me a thousand times and I would still not be able to fully grasp it. But I still quite look how it looks. I still quite like how it looks. I'm not sure when Jessica painted this. I'm not even sure I've seen it before. Perhaps it's one of the many paintings she ended up hiding from everyone because she was ashamed of how it turned out. Art stuff. Jessica painted this while traveling with her parents as a teenager. It's still one of her favorite pieces after all this time. I don't like that um, thing sounds. This was Jessica's last painting. She had been feeling uninspired for a while before making this and was determined to never paint again. Which is a shame because I was quite fond of the results. That's sad. It's very sad. Unfortunate. Uh, yeah, no, I'll, I'm just gonna ignore that. You know, we're, we're just unboxing, you know. <laughs> yep, we're just gonna continue. Radio. Oh, someone texted me. I hope it's not, like, Jessica texting me. That'd be horrible and nightmarish. We're just gonna put this on the upper shelf. Okay, who texted me? Who did it? Insurance prick. <laughs> Insurance prick. This is Franco from your auto insurance. I must inform you that your car has been declared a total loss. Oh no. Hello. All right, what now? Thanks, insurance. Nice to add insult to injury. Oh, massive vase. Man, I love these. The vases, I love, I love pottery. It's so fun. It's hard, it's horrible, and I hate doing it, but it's fun to have results. DVD player? Oh yeah, to view like real media. We'll put that below that one. I think it's backwards. Is it, if it's not backwards, I think it's backwards now. We're just gonna, we're just gonna leave it like that, that way. Yep, uh, we are currently investigating the details of the accident to determine the liability of the parties involved. Oh, am I gonna say, am I gonna, oh. Oh, who's this? From you. Wait, what? Wait, what? To you. Who's this? Erm, um, erm, um, pardon? What was that noise? I think it came from the basement. We don't, we really don't need to check that. Let's just, let's just, you know, let's. Wall clock, yes. Okay. Okay. We gotta... Uh, I gotta go bring a knife down there. Who's in my basement? I bet it's the insurance people. Uh oh. What is that? Mud? Muck? Oh god, what is happening here? This is terrible. This leak is quickly deteriorating, even the ceiling. Deteriorating the ceiling. I feel like I have to do something or it will collapse soon, but... Uh, I can barely look at this thing. It's making me lightheaded and nauseous. It's frustrating, though. I know I need to take care of it, but I feel so repulsed that all I can do is ignore it. God, I hate looking at it. What is that? Is it- it's pulsating! What is that? Ah, it's not a problem. No, no biggie. No biggie. 
Who is this? We're just gonna keep unpacking. <laughs> We're yeah, we are going to ignore it. We love ignoring things. Fan. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I don't have a wife anymore, but <laughs> I sure do have this really nice fan that I can just <laughs> place on my couch. Cushion. That of course goes on the couch. Living room. Cushion. That of course also goes on the couch, but in a different spot. Picture frame. Is this my wife that dearly to me is now deceased? Sadly. I'm just gonna lock that away. It's not important. Another vase. Oh, this is a real nice vase. I'll put it right here. I like that one. I could have put it on the couch, to be honest. You know, move over, desk fan. We've got a new best friend. And right here. Doesn't fit. And right here. Oh, no, that's backwards. Right here. Here? Right there. I feel like, is the orb not there again? There's some creepy music going on. I don't, I don't really like it too much. We're just, it's not important. We're just gonna quickly unpack this stuff. Medicine, oh yeah, put it on there. I love to take my pills with my toothbrush. Trash bin, right there. Open toothbrush, right there. It's kind of teetering on the edge there. Towel rack, mount that right there, of course. Bath mat, in the bath. In the bath. Cover the drain. Let's go. Uh, lotion flask. This goes in the bedroom for nightly moisturizing. It's not anything weird, I promise. Nightly moisturizing, I have fair, dry skin, personally. That's just a me thing. Mug said, oh yeah, I match with my dear wife that I, you know, we're just gonna quickly unpack, you know. Toaster? Oh yeah, this goes by the microwave. I love toasters. They're so cool. Kettle, it goes on the stove, on the oven. Why is there a, maybe I don't have a stove. Why is there like a towel there? What is this creepy iron noise? Like, it's like the sound of rust or something. What is that, clay mixer? I actually didn't see that. Pineapple plastic jar, yes. It's like a pitcher or something. Wall calendar, days till my wife comes home. <laughs> Too many. Fruit bowl, right there. And glass bowls, right there. Perfect. Should I should I go back in the basement, or should I just continue? Maybe I should look in the. I should probably look in the room where that leak's coming from. Maybe there'll be something, something new in there, right? Nothing. Okay, pal. Okay. You know. You know. I I think. Hmm. You know. Are the windows? The yeah. The windows are gone. <laughs> I I just. I just noticed that. That's... The door is gone. Who... Who did that? Who's doing that? Where are the windows? Oh, you cheeky. Cheeky, you cheeky, cheeky. You know. <laughs> oh, you're funny. <laughs> That's... Okay. Let's go with a floor plan. Uh oh. Who's, who's knocking? Who's knocking on? I don't even have a door. Who's knocking? Who's doing that? Who's doing that? Is it in the basement? Are you in the basement? Yes? Oh, there's a window still. Let me out! Oh. Oh, you baited me. Oh, I see how it is. The orb! It's the orb! Ah! Open the door! Something locked this door. Ooh, it's approaching. The orb is getting larger. Ooh. I, I think I'm in this place that was mentioned in the third VHS disc. Who is this? Is this? Oh, I'm, I, I'm in the, uh, am I in purgatory with the previous owner of this house now? Is that the idea? This is a very interesting place. This is very hellish. Hi, you look massive, but I can't really tell. Am I, like, going towards your back? Am I, am I your wandering soul and I'm going to go into your consciousness? What's going on here? Oh, no, no, are you my wife? I can't tell. What is this? What's going on here? Uh, what? what? What's, uh... Oh, you're turning, slowly? Do you have a face? I hope you do. You do have a face, nice. Uh... Alright, uh-oh. 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 Let's go away. Let's... You know, I... The insurance company will tell me if it was my fault or not. Oh, uh, we're back. Do we have doors now? Windows? Can we leave? No? Oh. It's, it's all upside down. 
And we don't... Okay. Who's this? Who's this? It was your fault. Oh, thanks, Mom. What? What do you mean? What do you mean, ma'am? What do you mean it was my fault? Look, I, I didn't... I didn't do anything. Can't go upstairs. What? Such a disappointment. No. -uh. Why are you saying this? It's a nightmare. It's just a bad dream. It's just a bad dream. It's okay. It's okay. We're gonna go... We're gonna go into our... Oh! The hallway. Oh, no. Oh! It's the basement. Blue, blue. What's, what's going on? Am I in the normal? Shh. Ah. <laughs> Ooh. What? Oof. Someone's screaming. Uh. Hi. I. You, um. You know, I'll, I'll just, I'll just leave you to it. I don't want to be near that. I, I'm gonna get away from that. We're gonna go back into the infinite hallway. It makes me happy to. <laughs> Maybe not. Oh, I'm in the back rooms now. Uh, these paintings seem to have been painted by Jessica, but I've never seen them before. Was she like nightmarish or something? This is. I don't like this. Am I running from something, or is this, or is something running from me? Does that symbolize my rotting, unborn child? I hope not. I sure hope not. Oh, hey, look, we're back to normal. No, we're not. No, we're not. This hallway's infinite now. Oh, hi. In a chair. Hey, what's up? How's it going? Oh, I can talk to you. Hey, wife. She seems to be distracted by something right in front of her. Oh, that's me. Did you see the latest paintings I made? Each took an eternity to finish, but I think they turned out perfect. I think it must have taken an actual eternity. Uh-oh. Why did you make them? I don't really know. I just had to. I felt... I was thinking of you and our baby Laura, you know? That's why they look so wonderful, Jessica. Do you remember that question I used to ask you? What does God look like? <laughs> I am, I am like, uh, horror maxing. Yes, what does God look like? Huh. It's funny that you were never religious, but you've always tried to help me understand why we could never truly see him. And I really appreciate that, you know. I am I am such a, I, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm very supportive. That, that is an interesting question. I would never answer it because I don't even know. Um, I really miss you. I'm so sorry for what, I'm so sorry. But I, I see him now. I see him and he's beautiful. Do you see him too? I don't see him, but I'm happy for you. That's, that's cool. I'm sorry, but I don't. Uh, pity. I wish you could see him too. So powerful and astounding and devastating. I feel like tearing my face off, but in the most wonderful way. That is not a wonderful thing to say. I don't, I've been trying to forgive myself. Oh, don't worry about me anymore. We have our baby to care for now, silly. Do you hear that? She's crying, the poor thing. I should go check on our little girl. She's probably hungry. That is not a happy conclusion. She's... N no. I thought this would be like... I'm at least getting closure in my nightmare. No, you're just giving me, like... A horrible sentence. I don't like that. Is she, the, is she in the basement? Is that pile on the floor her? I think it is. Oh. How, how, how was it, um... Look at you, honey. See, I told you your father. You're hungry, aren't you? Don't worry, Laura. Mommy will feed you. Oh, hello, darling. You've been away for a while. We've barely seen you recently, come to think of it. Where have you been? Don't you miss us? It's so lonely and empty here. Laura doesn't stop crying for her dad. Honey, I think it's time I let you go. No, no. You know what? I have a better idea. Why don't you join us? Oh, Laura misses you so much, and she's so hungry all the time. I really want to satiate her hunger. I can't see her suffering like this. Oh no. Are you gonna feed my soul to our unborn child that was lost in an accident? I'm sorry, but I can't join you. I'm so sorry. I see. Oh, she's so hungry. Look at her. I'll go ahead and feed her now then. Pity I can't join us. She really needs her daddy. Well, now I'll, I'll see you in like... The door's locked. I'll see you in... Uh-oh. Uh What's uh... Oh! Oh, that's... That's concerning. I don't want to. I don't want to see that. I don't like to see the assimilation. Yeah. Uh, no. I'll. I'll join you in like uh, seventy years or so. Sixty. I'll join you in like fifty to seventy years, approximately. Those are my business hours, to be honest. Open. What are we opening? I can't see. Oh, I can see. Oh, hey, the windows are back. Hey, leave the house. Let's leave. Did we, are we? Are we gonna get an ending? Yeah, it's fading to black. Oh? Oh? 
Ooh, credit cutscene that still has a, a prompt there. So I answered it. I answered what? The call to move here and the call to accept my life. I was having bad dreams, but I finally, I thugged it out. Mentally, I am a warrior. I am a being of sheer willpower. Oh, it's in all the positions that I put them in. That's kind of cool. Man, it's, it, the cutscene is like, it's like when your custom character appears in the cutscene, but a little bit less, uh, it's a little less whelming. Overwhelming? It's underwhelming. This is kind of cool, though. I like this. This is very... Yeah. I don't know, this This is such a cool, like, game in terms of, like, the, all the the building. Uh, they are very high effort in the game. I really like this one. It has a lot put into it. it. And the graphics are just... The graphics are weirdly, at the same time, as old-fashioned, I guess, PlayStation 1, 2 styled, is what it said in the description of the game. It still seems, like, really... It's like a game that did hold up well, but it was made recently, so it's just like... It's a mix of modern and retro, that's what's going on. But yeah, the windows are gone. I think I got the good ending. I could have probably chosen to join them, if you know what I mean. But I didn't. I... I moved on. That's that's a good ending, so I answered it. I answered it. Achievements? You got the good ending! Secrets found? 3 out of 5. I don't know what that means. I don't know what secrets I was supposed to find. Game made by Scary Cube. Sound by all those people. Uh, textures. <laughs> Textures.com and all that. That's pretty cool. Thank you for playing. If you enjoyed this game, please consider following me on Twitch, Scary Cube. Also, consider supporting me on Ko-Fi and Patreon at Scary Cube. More games coming soon. I really need to look out for Scary Cube making more games because this... This is some good stuff. This, this game was, like, very... Like, top-notch, super good indie game, to be honest. I, I'll need to, like, write a very positive review on that itch page, because the storytelling and, like, the plot building and, like, the, you know, the spooky aspects of it, I thought they were, like, really well done. I really like this game. I think it had a pretty decent message in it, too. You know, it wasn't just, like, mindless horror. It had... it it The story was pleasant. I liked it. But, yeah. Goodbye.